Okay, we have finished installing VirtualBox on our systems. The next step is we are going to go and install Ubuntu on this VirtualBox. For this, we are going to download Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So how to download Ubuntu, you can go to Google and search for Ubuntu here. And uh, you go to the very first link. And uh, in this page, you go to the download section. And you've got so many different uh, types of Ubuntu available. And we are going to go ahead and download Ubuntu Desktop. So for our demonstration, we are going to download Ubuntu Desktop. So we have here 20.04 LTS. LTS here means long-term support. So what do you mean by long-term support? The support or the patches and then the maintenance uh, for this uh, particular release will happen for the next five years. So every two years, uh, Ubuntu is releasing an, a long-term support version. And uh, this version was released in April 2020. And we'll be using this uh, for our uh, demonstrations. So let me go ahead and uh, download it. Just click on this link. So you can go and save this file. This is a large file. It takes a 2.5 GB, so it's going to take a lot of time. I have already downloaded this and it's available in my system. So this is the ISO image I have downloaded. And we are going to use this and install it on our virtual box. Okay, we have finished downloading Ubuntu. Now let's go to virtual box. Let's configure virtual box such that it boots Ubuntu. For that, the very first step is we have to go and click on new. And in this interface, the very first field, you enter the machine name. I will give it as Ubuntu here, 20.04. So while I typed Ubuntu, you can see the type got changes as uh, Linux and the version is Ubuntu 64 bit. And uh, this is the default machine folder. We will leave it like that. And then we'll click on next. Now we have to allocate a RAM for our virtual machine. So the recommended memory size here is 1024 MB. So here, how much RAM you're going to allocate depends on the uh, type of hardware you're using. I have got 8 GB of uh, RAM installed on my system. So I'm going to increase the RAM size for my virtual machine to two gigabytes here. And again here, the amount of RAM that you're going to allocate uh, depends on how much powerful hardware you're using. And uh, after this, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on next. So here it's asking us for allocation of an, a virtual hard disk and the size of the hard disk is uh, mentioned as 10 GB. So we'll go and create a virtual hard disk for our virtual machine. Let's click on create. And it is asking you for the type of hard disk file. For our uh, demonstrations, we'll go with the very first setting, virtual box disk image VDI. We'll click on next. And now it throws us two options. It's asking us whether the virtual hard disk should be dynamically allocated or whether it should be a fixed size uh, file. What do you mean by dynamically allocated? The space for the hard disk file will be allocated based on the requirements. And the file will start uh, using of space only when the need arises. Whereas when you say it's a fixed size uh, of 10 GB, the space gets allocated well in advance. And you can very well see here a fixed size hard disk file may take longer to create and uh, we'll stick to a dynamically allocated option and then click on next. So here it uh, gives you the location for your uh, virtual hard disk uh, file and then you can also change the size of the hard disk if you want it. I will leave it with 10 GB here. We'll click on create after that. And you can see here, the virtual box has created this Ubuntu virtual machine here. And you can verify the machine by clicking on settings. You can go and verify the settings for your system. So here it is uh, Ubuntu 20.04, that is the machine name, type is Linux and uh, version is Ubuntu 64 bit. When you click on system, you can see the RAM allocated for your virtual machine. And the processors here, currently it says one CPU. I'll increase it to two CPU. And we have to do one more thing. We have to go to 
storage and we have to map the Ubuntu ISO image here. We'll click on empty. We'll go to optical drive and then we'll choose this file, choose a disk file. And we'll select our Ubuntu desktop ISO image and we'll click on OK. So now we have mapped the IOSA image to our virtual box. Next thing that we have to do is we have to boot Ubuntu from within virtual box. For that, we'll go ahead and click on start. So now this is going to take some time and uh, it'll start booting Ubuntu on virtual box. So we'll select our ISO image here and then we'll click on start. So it's starting our virtual machine. And uh, here on the left hand side, you're going to select the language of your installation and then and then it gives us two options try ubuntu and install ubuntu we'll click on install ubuntu and you can select your keyboard layout here i am selecting english us and then i'll click on continue so here comes the next important thing what apps would you like to install to start with and I'm going to uncheck this option download updates while installing Ubuntu as it says here this saves time after installation so now I'm not going to download any updates and I'm not going to install any third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware so I'm going to uncheck these options and I will go with normal installation I'll click on continue In the installation type, it's asking us whether we have to erase disk and install Ubuntu. Since we are installing it on the virtual machine, there are no issues. So we can go ahead with this option and click on install now. You can go and select your time zones here. I'll go with the default time zone given here. Now let me click on continue. So in this screen, you can go and give you a name. And the username I'm giving Satish. Uh, let me pick a password here. And I will say login automatically. So by this, you know, it will not be asking for me to enter my password every time. It's going to log me in automatically. Let me click on continue. Okay, now the installation is complete. We need to restart the machine. Let's restart now. Okay, the installation is uh, done and the Ubuntu is up and running. Let us uh, go and search for terminal. So here's our terminal. Let me execute a command. Let's find the IP address of this machine. So this is the IP address of this machine. That's it. We have successfully installed Ubuntu on our virtual box.